as a little boy, Adrian was very, very noisy and rambunctious. Um, he'd never be quiet. It was always in my ear, yap, 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 yap. Mummy, what sound does the cat make? What sound does the dog make? Mummy, what sound does the chicken make? Mummy, listen to this sound of a mouse. And I just thought, given the fact that he was at Shaw Preparatory, he would have learnt all those animal sounds for the $10,000 we were paying for the yearly tuition fees. The buck stopped for me when um, Adrian came home and he had a hot mess all over his hands. They were covered in paint. There was paint in his cuticles, underneath the nail. And he said he'd been painting with his fingers. And I was quite surprised at the mess. And then he handed me the painting. And I think it was supposed to be a house and a picture of mummy. And there was a little cat that he wanted to have. And you could hardly make out what was the cat and what was me. And if it wasn't for an arrow with a name pointing at it, I wouldn't have known. Sure, he was three and a half, but come on. So I took him to a local psychiatrist in the East um, who rapidly diagnosed him with ADD and prescribed Adrian on a course of Ritalin and dextroamphetamines. And I, I can tell you, I'd never ever look back. Adrian finally was calm. He was controlled. He became a normal boy. He did stop running around, he stopped yelling. No more questions, no more curiosity. He became placid. He was placated and oh, finally mummy could get a rest. And I just think that was really important for him at the time. <laughs> and I think that the steps that we took there for his development really established such an interesting course for his life. Um, he cried quite a lot, um, but he was just so well behaved. <music> Mummy, where do I come from? Mummy, how was I made? Mummy, where's Daddy? Mummy, is, is Daddy coming home soon? I mean, come on, come on. <laughs>